Hello everybody, so uh, welcome back to another video on a tutorial within Brightspace uh, D2L. Uh, this time we're looking at the comprehension on a document tool. Okay, and we're logged in as a student and we are going to dive straight into it in full screen mode. Now, the three instructions include, or well, the three steps really include reading the instructions, which is, you know, this helping this assignment helps you refine your strategies for reading text. In the right sidebar, you'll see the topics that are central to the text. Your task is to identify the passages that relate to each of these topics and, and make annotations. Really to enhance the understanding of how texts are structured, understanding the structure makes it easier for you to process this information given in a text, which is really the purpose of the comprehension tool for that deeper level of learning. So the second is to have a look at the following topics that you need to focus on. In this case, it's what's noteworthy, the grammar and spelling. So I have to make three annotations based on the, these three topics. Then I go down to the annotation step to do so. Now it's loading the document. In this case, it's on a molecular biology. So I can make an inline annotation here, for example, and say, okay, on this one, I believe this relates to grammar. So, or, or let's say noteworthy, for example. Uh, DNA is very important and noteworthy. Uh, last lecture we discussed ABC. And then I can choose to record my voice, add an attachment, and then post. Now, here I can see there's already a contribution on this contra, um, uh, comprehension document. So if I click on it, the teacher has said, pay attention to the grammar here, it's very important. So I can actually choose to like and reply. Uh, maybe some of my contributions there and then just see what the teacher is saying regarding the grammar. Now, I can head down and again, I can go ahead and uh, maybe make this in terms of spelling, right? Um, spelling in table uh, two uh, doesn't make sense based on March's discussion, for example, and then continue to do that. Now, I'll do this for all the different topics and all the colors pop up here based on the color of the actual topic. So then going back, I would get a little bit of an overview here and then click finish later. So once I've gone there and finished making all the annotations, I have to go ahead and write a reflection and then I can look at the grading section, okay? Now I haven't completed it, so let's actually just quickly go ahead and make one or two more annotations. Uh, let's say, I don't know, we'll make one here. and then click on grammar, and then just have a little bit of an elaboration there. And it's linked to page four, and it's an inline annotation on that side of things too. So we'll click done, and hopefully we can write our reflection now that we've completed it. So uh, I have comprehended A, B, C now, and then click submit, right? And then the teacher can get all of these uh, reflections all centralized in their overview, which is what we'll jump into right now. So welcome back. Now we are in a teacher's perspective and we'll just get that out of the way. And then we're going to see a little bit of the overview that they get. So again, full screen mode, always the way to go. Um, I can have a look at the statistics. So have they read the instructions? Have they finished annotating? How long have they spent? And I can even have a look and see if they've done the reflection step. So here are the instructions we had written. Here's the annotation pros, uh, progress, right? I can have a look and see, you know, has the student finished or not? Who is, who is still awaiting? And then I can go ahead and view those annotations within a document, and then I can actually publish the grades. So I'll go click publish. Student one has gotten 100 out of 100, 100%. Um, and at that point, this will synchronize into the D2L gradebook. And then I can get an overview and click and see the reflection. So the, the instructor really gets a complete kind of big picture and no view of what's happening. Um, these are the instructions, right? And now we're in the edit mode. We can change topics. Um, and we can even actually add a topic, right? We can add topic, require a summary of the annotations. Uh, if they need to summarize further, demonstrate even further understanding, at which point we can have them view others to have that collaborative element in there too. 
So heading down to step number three, we can have them download copyright protected material, add the reflections. Again, this is an optional step for the instructor to set up, as well as the weighting of the actual comprehension assignment and the grading regarding that. So once we're happy with the way that everything's been set up in terms of deadlines, in terms of scaffolded deadlines, in terms of, you know, really the design and the pedagogical experience that students will be getting, then we click save. And that really is the comprehension tool summarized uh, for you. So thank you for watching.